On this episode we will check Marina Walk and also GBR, this is all Dubai Marina, this is beautiful to go with the family, with kids, so many activities to do, there is also alcohol available, there's good food and you can swim, go for a picnic and there is beautiful stuff, you can also see the palm, so many stuff. Also we will check Souk Madinat, this is area specifically done for tourists, look like very old but in reality very new and this is full of beautiful hotels, canals, it's like little Venice, you know, you have beautiful boat go down the streams, you have beautiful sea, you have Burj Al Arab which is very stupendous, you have a lot of things to do in Souk Madinat, so I recommend going here as well. I want to go to see Burj Khalifa. Halas, no problem, I go to Burj Khalifa, Dubai Mall. Dubai Mall, there is parking lot, I park, free, and I go to Burj Khalifa. I go to Dubai Marina, I go to Marina Mall. I park my car, and I think maybe 14 levels. I park car, I go to Marina, no problem. There is so many places that are strategically put next to beautiful landmarks. You just park your car up there, and then you go, halas, you don't pay any money. No need for taxi. If you plan visiting Dubai Marina, go to Dubai Marina Mall first. If you're by car, park it here for free. If you're by metro, get off here. Once here, it's all by foot. This is the Marina Mall, the place where we park. Once you get through the Marina Mall, you get here to this promenade where you can enjoy this beautiful skyline, Marina skyline. You'll see people flying above you. It's a one kilometer long zip line and it's the longest in the world. 60 kilometers per hour starting from a 170 meter altitude. So if you're riding at that speed, you should be doing one kilometer per minute. So you're spending 154 euros for just one minute. Now, is that worth it? Mm, I don't know. I bought these tickets for water taxi in the booth behind me, five dirhams each. This public transport card saves you a lot of money each ride. Go and check our first episode, we talk a lot about it. This taxi right behind will take us to Marina Walk, right on the other side. Marina Walk? Walk and get to We recommend coming here in the afternoon so you can enjoy daytime and night transition. It's fantastic. Going around this area is unique, allowing you to see architecture masterpieces up close. The YouTube famous Princess Tower, 413 meters, the tallest, Marina 101, 432 meters, and the Kayan Tower, 306 meters. We focus on giving tips, a little bit of information, some background of what you're seeing on the video. We don't only focus on that. A lot of people are showing super cool things, are showing cheap things. We try to find a way to get you to do things for free. And that's why it makes it so interesting to follow our videos. Imagine Dubai. Dubai is extremely expensive, isn't it? Well, we know ways where you can completely bypass certain entrances and you get in for free. So if you're interested in having these kind of bargains, a super cheap holiday, then just follow the videos. There's a lot of work behind these videos. It would be great if you could hit the like button or subscribe so at least I know if, if they're good enough. It takes us around three days to do a video. It takes you one second to put a like. Please help us and support us. See this place? It's a must. Coolest things and free things happen here. You'll see it from the boat ride we're on and can reach it by crossing the many bridges around. awesome things you can work out just right here you can do elevated dining on top of a crane and you can also do skydiving they go up with an aircraft and they jump and you can select different altitudes and you can do a buddy one if you're not experienced someone's gonna be attached to you so just for matters of safety because you don't really know how to do it and if you get a special training then you can go on your own you can do a brunch here brunch is awesome it's unlimited drinks you think Dubai doesn't have any alcohol that's wrong Dubai Marina is an artificial canal city built along a three kilometer stretch of a shoreline. It will accommodate more than 120,000 people in residential towers and villas. 
we recommend going for lunch or dinner at the Gresham Grill. For 59 dirhams, 14 euros, you can get a three-course meal. My name is Mohamed Bayaz, Bolovich Kaste. Beer 7, several floors for dining, and the toughest one, it's a club lounge. Your kids being a pain in the butt? Don't worry, just leave them here. Don't look down. It has been my dream to come to Robot City and... We're not going to go through the usual road. We're going to go through Sheikh Zayed. It's one of the most technological and most beautiful roads in the world. It's like a highway that goes through the whole city. So you're going to have two skylines. The marina skyline, which is this one right here. And the other one, the business area. You'll have the Burj Khalifa. I'm going to show you all that. The best moment to do it is during the transition from daytime to nighttime. So you can get all the night lights. It's beautiful. We're crossing Dubai Marina now and we're headed to Dubai downtown. We're visiting Souk Madinat right now. It's very close to Burj Al Arab. In detail, this is Souk Madinat with all its canals. This is the normal entrance and this is the valet parking entrance. If you use the valet parking, don't forget to stamp the ticket they give you and don't lose it. It's 100 dirhams, around 25 euros if you do. It's a good idea to stamp the valet parking ticket right away so you don't forget. It's free. Keep the receipt too, it'll come in handy for free boat rides later on. We just came out of uh, Alhambra, which is the Spanish restaurant within the perimeters of Souk Madinat. Every bridge that crosses the Souk Madinat area is guarded by security guards. But there is one that has no security guard, and you can bypass the bridge. The place is private, not meant for mainstream tourists. This trick is for those who don't want to spend anything to get across. Just go down the steps and pass the bridge, nobody's gonna block you. And if you do that, you go on the other side, which is full of these villas that cost like $2,000, $3,000 per night with your own pool, your own garden, and you have your own access to your own private beach. How cool is that? Let's go! Before we go, there's two better ways to get to the other side, a little bit more decent. Tell the guard you're going to a restaurant or bar and show them your reservation or take a boat and use the dinner receipt as a pass. It's free. You have some bars just by the beach. If you have a date or some friends, you can take them here to this very romantic place. You can do paddle boarding here. You can take canoes, play beach soccer. You can stay here and relax. Madinat Jumeirah is a luxurious five-star resort in Dubai. It is the largest resort in the Emirates, spreading across over 40 hectares of landscapes and gardens. It is designed to look like a traditional Arabian town. The resort comprises three boutique hotels, 29 summer houses called Jumeirah Dar Al Maziaf. The resort has over 40 restaurants and bars. Let's check this place during daytime. Parking is 3.6 euro per hour, but the first two hours are completely free. These handmade souvenirs are what you should take back home, but they're expensive here. We recommend buying them from Deira. The souk we showed you on the first episode, they're much, much cheaper.
This is the signature location where all tourists take pictures with the Burj Al Arab in the background. It's extremely overcrowded, people push and bother your experience. Go to this bridge, a guard will block anyone passing. Tell the bridge guard you're going to Shimmers, a bar on the other side, and he'll let you pass. Now you can take your pictures undisturbed. Tourists don't know this trick. That's why the other side is so empty and relaxing. <laughs> If money isn't a problem for you, I really recommend this restaurant. It's quite expensive, but it's won many awards, and for sure you're gonna get real good food there. And the view? Spectacular. Like I said earlier, access to this area is really exclusive. You pay big money for it. It entitles you to free buggy rides, free boat rides, access to private beaches and clubs, restaurants and bars you wouldn't have access to otherwise. You swim in amazing waters and sunbathe in crazy cool beaches. If you pull this off, you get it all for free. Another reason to come here is for afternoon tea. It is a bit expensive, but the view is amazing and I really recommend it. But of course, if you don't want to spend so much money, just grab a coffee and you'll get the same view. You'll sit down and you'll enjoy yourself. A lot of people will be avoiding Christmas here because they'll think, oh, it's a Muslim country, they're not going to serve any wine, they're not going to celebrate Christmas, they're not going to have any alcohol. Hell no, you're completely wrong. You, they do have alcohol, but check the price. Nine euros fifty for a glass of mulled wine. Ah, well. And Santa Claus showed up with a Bentley, by the way. The Burj Al Arab is the world's third tallest hotel. The smallest room is 169 square meters, while the largest, 780, topping $24,000 per night. It's sometimes erroneously described as the world's only seven-star hotel. Tiger Woods was teeing off the helipad and Andre Agassi played against Roger Federer. David Coulthard performed donuts with a Formula One car. Be ready, having afternoon tea here is expensive. You're gonna be paying around 103 euros per person. But the views are outstanding and you're in the most luxurious hotel in the world, so what do you expect? Yacht parties are usually organized in Dubai Marina, the area that we crossed before with a taxi boat. They depart from Dubai Marina and they cross the whole Palm Jumeirah, reaching Atlantis Water Venture Park and Burj Al Arab. They cost around 120 euros, that's the public price for a big yacht party, or 60 euros for a private yacht party. It's much better if you go for a private yacht party, that means that you can stop wherever you want for pictures and you can jump in the water at any time. Also, you can bring your own alcohol, so you save up a lot of money. JBR Beach is located just behind Dubai Marina. Jumeirah Beach Residences, or JBR, is a 1.7 kilometer long waterfront community located in Dubai Marina, made out of 40 towers hosting 15,000 people. JBR The Walk, next to the beachside, is a very popular location for open-air dining. The best moment to come here is during the afternoon. You'll get the best sunsets and best pictures. Also, you can do camel riding. You can play beach volley, beach tennis, you can have a picnic here, you can jump on inflatable castles in the water. There's so many things to do. When it gets down to swimming pools, we recommend going to the Conrad and Shangri-La Hotel. They are close to each other and cost 36 euro for a day entrance. For an Arnia-like experience, leave the Sheikh Zayed Road traffic mess and enter this wonderful silent deck with a bar restaurant, terrace and tropical palm filled pool crowned with a waterfall. They both have free tennis, squash courts and gym with spa, hammam and massage facilities. 
If you prefer the Palm over downtown, visit Fairmont de Palm. This resort has an exclusive offer on Groupon costing you 30 euros for all-you-can-eat luxury buffet and unlimited drinks. Also, if you follow our tips on our next video, you avoid 36 euros getting free pool access. Which is amazing! Below the video, there's a comment section. Commenting below allows me to understand your feedback. You can write your tips and tricks, and I could include these tips and tricks in my next videos, and people watching this video can use these tips and tricks when they go to Dubai, because you might have amazing ideas I have no idea about. Last and final tip, don't forget the description below this video. The description contains various information about the things we've done on the video, and also two links. One link to a simple map from Google Maps with all the locations we visited and another link. As soon as you click that link, it'll download a file. This file will either be a PDF file or a Word file. It'll have the list of those locations we visited on this video. You can easily print it and take it with you on your holidays. As usual, there is another word that I want to teach you and today we will learn Yalla. You heard that so many times from me. Yalla means come on, let's go, come on. Yalla. I hope you like our video. I hope it was very informative and it convinced you to come visit my country. If you come, let me know. I can give you many extra tips. This was only scratching surface. I know many other things. So in case you liked it, you can subscribe, you can like, you know everything. But if you don't like, then masalama, you know what it means. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Halos.